Okay, welcome back to more Zelda 1 Deluxe. And good thing for the somewhat convenient start point, rather than going have to go across the entire map, corner to corner. Because level 8, again, is actually in the lower left corner. Now, if you go back to Hyrule and look at that lower left corner, you would see uh, that screen has four four trees on it. And if you go onto the lower left screen on this map, let me just get over there really quick. Well, you'll kind of see the difference, what you kind of need to pay attention to. And even this guy kind of gives you a hint about it. <clears throat> yeah, you notice there's only three trees, and the one on the left here looks a little bit out of place. And then you also got a clue about what item to use. So in this case, this could be your red candle. And this is where you find level eight. I forgot what dungeon this comes out of. At least the good thing is you go normal speed in this place. And more money. free compass. Yeah, so at least you're going normal speed in this place, so you're on level ground. side makes things a little bit easier to uh, to manage all right here you got three man hand laws dang I almost got all of that and I think I saw another half potion in there so no need to buy potions anymore. I picked up a second half potion. Spring. You know, those red bubbles aren't as big an issue. Okay, so we got the green poles voice. Uh, these are vulnerable to magic blast. This room's interesting. You got one of every type of Poles voice. So here's your... That's your weak one. And then you got the... The magic one here. And 
Now, this brown one, or actually, this one I think is the going to be colored differently. It's going to be the <clears throat> same color as the uh, uh, the background of the level. Uh, this one is weak to your hammer. And then you got the purple one here. And that one's weak to bombs. So it's good to remember which one's which. And worst comes to worst, you just try to hammer first. Since that doesn't cost anything to use. because they fire so frequently at you. you. Basically, just have to keep moving around. Okay, that one has no shield. I'm just try to find the ones that maybe, you know, busted a shield off. two item bubbles. You know, otherwise, you know, just stay in the corner. Nice, it's relatively safe in the corner. And you just kind of stall for time until you can uh, get a clean shot out. Since you don't have the mirror shield yet. one of the level three dark that's stuck in the center there. That <laughs> makes things a little easier. So your rod does get some mileage out of it, because that's the only way to get rid of the blocks. get around the locks, you know, you have the option to do that. Even though I have so many extra keys anyway. Money. 
Now, you don't want to go right just yet. <clears throat> you know, just like the first, the original Zelda, and you actually want to go up first. Because it gets some extra goodies. Just trying to find enough of an opening to try to swipe off some extra hits. You might as well use a little side trick. Because it actually works brilliantly here once you can kind of time your shot right. Spawn by the time I <clears throat> get back to that room. All right, this room, a uh, one-headed fire bleak. Uh, you know, ideally you have a sword beam to so make things a little easier for you. As long as you have a uh, mirror shield, then you're probably okay. Now, this is gonna be a bit of an annoying room. All the bomb ones. And these do more damage, so. Uh, I think they base at three hearts if you have no ring. I got rid of all the shields off the level 3 Dark Nuts. Detour to get that boss key. And over here, you got level four Gibdos. You know, luckily, one of them is kind of trapped in there. It seems a little bit easier. Magic Key exists in the at least the first two Zelda Deluxe Quest. Uh, I don't think the others have a Magic Key. Uh, I have to look at my notes. But I don't think there is.
Okay, over here, we got another room with uh, trebles. So I get another source of free money for you, in case you need some. Always use this room for more refills because they're gonna respawn uh, when you come back into this room. You know, very convenient. It's all about just positioning the enemies to get the highest yield. Time to try to get some uh, ammo refills. Souls kind of stuck in the walls there. And you kind of want to corner them towards the right side. For uh, easiest results. Just kind of repeat this over and over uh, until you get, you know, however much money you want or need, or you know, if you need to max out your, you see, an 800 rupee wallet, you can just max that out. You know, 
make it easier to buy supplies. Again, I'm not gonna grind to fill up my wallet. And just uh, extra money just for <laughs> clearing out that room. I don't know how much money did I get in that room just grinding. So the ones that match the, the color of the background, amber weakness. And not that I really need the key anymore, but pick it up later. Okay, this one was really a four-headed one. <laughs> Just upgrade from that one-headed one before to a four-headed. And this one's a little bit tricky. And the longer you can keep your sword beams, the better. Okay, I got that last shot out. Before getting hit there, and get that last sword beam out to get the kill. Yeah, they take a few hits to knock out, it's like, what, six hits per? Helps to break their shields. <laughs> Didn't even need to break that thing's shield, he just died outright. Deeper money toll. It was 200 or 300 rupees before. No, it's not as steep right now. Alright, so level 8 is down. Okay, so pretty much got everything. Uh, so next up we can start moving through level 9, which I'll probably split into two parts because it's a rather lengthy level. Alright, see you guys later.